This is arguably the most iconic corner in all of cycling. After more than 250 kilometres of racing on the toughest roads of any race throughout the season, they hit this. What must feel like a silky smooth surface. What makes this corner so special? <laughs> seem real to me if I'm watching other people do it. I, know I can't even place myself being in that situation. So. I'm quite sure each rider who finish Rube, the moment that they enter the velodrome, they, they have something like, yes, yes, I made it. In Paris Bay, it's uh, legendary and only the legends have won this race. I think what makes this corner so special is the fact that it really is this separation between the roughest road race on earth and this the sort of differentiation between that and this perfectly smooth lovely concrete it's just a great way to finish a race that difficult a nice lovely lap around a smooth concrete velodrome uh, relief really it's relief it's uh, 255 kilometers before you get there it's like it's finally done. It's a pretty bumpy track, but uh, when you come on to it, it feels, feels really smooth. It feels really good. <laughs> that was a lot of words. I mean, you're pretty f so you're just happy to... You're happy to get in here. That's what you've been fighting for. Uh, yeah. The surroundings, everything is pretty spectacular. I mean, this is more or less what I... Uh, this is why I still cycle. Again, I have been my whole career. I was, I was, I was, I was a domestic, so I was not strong enough to be a leader uh, at all. But uh, I, I did Paris Roubaix, maybe, Paris Roubaix, maybe six, seven times. I finished. Uh, I did it twice as an amateur. I finished once second and once fourth. Uh, when I was second, was uh, behind uh, Steve Roach, and that was on the velodrome. And it, it, it has something mythic. I mean, like I said, as a rider, when you made it here, the moment that you enter the velodrome, it's like something okay. The name of the race state themselves, it's, it's, the hell of, it's a race, the hell of the north, and uh, you go through some, some terrible cobble sections, and then one moment you come in the velodrome, nice, nice, public is there, and it's just, uh, it's just super. I mean, I think I'm one of the many uh, pros who have this hate-love uh, relationship with this bike race, right? Uh, once you hit that corner and you're still sprinting for top 10, you're, of course, uh, enthusiastic and uh, but most of the time in, uh, in my career I just thought finally it's over, right? Uh, yeah, it's uh, I think in general, you know, hate love relationship with this bike race which is probably the most beautiful race out there, uh, one day race. Um, and uh, yeah, now I'm not allowed to do the corner anymore. I have to go no. straight with the car, right? Where I was in Roubaix when I entered the track, it was like, wow, I really am a loser. I'm this far <laughs> behind. But I think if you're in front, it's pretty amazing. It's a feat on its own. It's like finishing the Tour de France, isn't it? Roubaix, you've seen it. When uh, Roubaix's not on, it's not the nicest of suburbs, but it polishes up nicely for a big day.